Pez. My goodness, it's been so long, guys, and welcome back to the most inactive channel on YouTube. Welcome back to World Gaming, and without further ado, let's just jump into the video. I won't tell you where I've been because you guys are going to be angry at me. I got third up of pairs i got angry at pairs and i started playing fifa and i had been enjoying fifa actually but that's story for another day today we have the i'm just gonna call it the past 2022 demo light but it's the new football online test something the, the name is very long really let's just jump into the video so first of all guys I want to put out a statement by Asim Tanvia. He's like an ex Konami employee. He was like uh, the game's, I think, the game's biggest project manager. Because basically, he was in all the E3 functions, etc. He said that this game is a past 2022. You may call it demo, you may call it beta, you may call it concept. He said he doesn't believe it's a mobile port. Like Konami is saying, because Konami is just saying, oh, it's just a mobile port. He believes this gameplay has elements of PES 22. So basically, what you see in this gameplay, you can expect it in PES 22, especially the gameplay. Basically, that's what he said. So let's just jump into the game and try to judge the game, scrutinize the game. And I'm going to start. So basically, this match is going to be. Oh, by the way, shout out to Precision. I play on PC and unfortunately on PC we didn't get this demo. Konami, if you're listening to this, please also put significant effort and focus on PC. First of all, Konami not putting this demo on PC is awful idea because how can we test the network stability when we don't include PC? People will like cheat on PC online stability we can test it on pc to see if people can still lag cheat match void on this game and thus really rampant on pc so just drop the demo for pc and let us test to see what solutions have done this this time to combat to combat or combat lag cheating and just match voiding because the rank number one on pc right now is actually a serial DDoSGR and match voiding expert. So Konami do something. Alright, so let's just get into the game. Not okay. The menus, I don't like them really. The menus, Konami. You know, you can find a freelance UI designer for probably $500 or $1,000. And they'll make a better job than your actual designers. So this menu interface, I believe this is exactly for mobile. I don't believe this is a interface for console. I think they're gonna change it a lot. Anyways, uh, Precision just got a match. So basically, the matchmaking, this is just a matchmaking sin. I don't think anything is different. The green screen there is not doing us justice really, but it's it's for mobile. Even if it's for mobile, no need for a green screen. So I noticed they have this cutscenes as well. This is beautiful. They should keep it in the they should keep it on the console game as well because this is beautiful. The water seems very realistic. I'm a fan. The graphics, yeah, they're not sharp, but for a test version, it's okay. I'm liking the cutscenes, showing them the jerseys of the main players or the players just randomly select a bar of the game. This is actually beautiful, but just Konami, for example, if someone is playing Manchester, if it's Manu versus Manu, then don't show us the same player. Show us Marshall and another player. Don't pick the same player, because it's redundant. Alright, your opponent is ready. I think this is really, and I like this really, guys. I like the fact that players now come out, you see them training, you see them whilst your player is doing some other things like the game plan, etc. Be in besides the the still image of the background you do this konami put our players training the coach talking to his players whatever a team meeting a team meeting the captain rolling his players let's go we should win this game card scenes in 
different parts of the game make the game much more livelier so props to you konami and guys just as a start look at the pacing i think the pacing of this game is the best pacing i've seen in any football video game so far this pacing is just great maybe some people think it's slow but i think it gives you time to react it gives you time to think and if you're off the ball i know it can be very frustrating to mark when the game is this slow but it also gives you the time to change your players or switch your players all right that was a great save i guess from De Gea. precision really didn't do great dribbling right there but shout out to precision guys i got this video from his stream with this permission uh he's a great guy very great guy with a very nice scottish accent uh so yeah guys go on twitch i'm gonna i think i'm actually gonna put his link in uh in the description and i'm also gonna put his link on the stream precision tv is a really great guy i like him uh so the pacing of the game is really nice i like it and it seems like they've slowed the game and the ref should have given the foul there that's a foul and this is something that has been very problematic in past 20 and 21 i hope they're gonna patch that and really fix that because that was a foul all right the animation looks nice that animation looks really really good what what happened to the ball yo konami sort that out it just disappeared but the animation is good but the ball disappearing not good fix that out konami please right some one to football nice given goal He's running all right precision kind of got lost wait is the defending now legacy defending because did you see the way precision's defenders are running away from the ball it reminds me of fifa because in fifa like defenders really don't do body to body pressing they kind of just like run away from the ball so you have to time your player and just try to steal the ball when they go right in front of you when it's like face to face contact then you can steal the ball because precision's defenders were really running look at that i'm not sure what was that about but i think maybe they're making the defending more manually i'm not sure but the pacing guys is, is, is okay so for now one positive is the pacing right nice block there uh he just lost the ball right nice call for the ball right there let's see what precision can do he can actually skill by the way all right the goalkeeper made a very great save i was not predicting i did i think that was i thought that I was gonna get in but all right let's say that was a good save but the defender look at the defenders i think i think they're making a manual because do you see the defenders they just kept the line they didn't try to press pogba it was about to make a short they didn't oh like nice animation that was a great pogba animation he missed the ball or he couldn't jump that's not good did you see the player reaction this is not good this kind of reaction the random ball bounces that always go back to your opponent so they're not basically random they're just the ball bounces that go back to your opponent mysteriously they should patch that even fifa has problems with this all right i think the defending really is manual now that's what i think uh oh all right that was a very weak short and the uh, the goalkeeper saved it nice <laughs> right let's see let's see what we have right now right precision i think he likes wing play i'm off here wing play so yeah right some bit of passing i don't know the the defending guys i have no idea but um yeah it just kind of reminds me of fifa but maybe it's precision not used to the game i don't know but the the pacing looks okay so it seems as if this guy can defend that i don't know guys what's happening because he did a bit of man-to-man -man marking there but precision is really struggling with that all right the misplaced passes all right the pace i like the pace all right nice defending from Juan bisaka right what else do you have um right 
at least it didn't mysteriously intercept that, which is a very common issue in the current game we have. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, I think the pacing is okay. The body, these mysterious blocking, look at that, guys. The loose ball situations Konami have to fix and work on them. Look at that, look at that. It's ugly, it makes the game ugly because if I have the ball, I have the ball. It doesn't, if it's gonna, the collision as well. The mysterious ball bounces, the collision, yeah, they have to, um, they have to work a lot. And the touches, like, maybe Maguire, but still. If a striker was anywhere close, they would have took the ball and just scored. But let's go. I don't, you know what, guys? People have been saying this is a console game. I don't believe it. But ref, ref, are you blind? Look at the refereeing. Alright, look at the... Oh my goodness, man. Yeah, that was really bad defending. That was terrible defending. Uh, it kind of reminds me of FIFA, but the defending was not good. What was that, though? Like, look at that. Look at Maguire. Look at my... Whoa. No, it's Lindelof, actually. What was that, mate? Like, the AI should have just picked the ball. Like... Look, even on FIFA, FIFA has more for manual defending, but man, when the AI, when the ball is a centimeter away from the AI's foot, it just has to do that extra mile. Because at the end of the day, it's a video game where you control one player out of 11. So the AI should really do something in this cases. Not really good. So for now, the pacing is great. I think the passing seems also fine. Uh, two positives and um the animations as well look nice the graphics they look improved yeah this is just a quantum version guys the graphics in my opinion the shadows i'm gonna say the shadows look improved uh the animations the shadows in the game the uh, pacing is good the passing seems okay the play collision is not good at all the refereeing is not good the ball deflections are really not good as well. The menu interfaces are not good at all. So I think we have um, three pluses, three pros, and uh, four cons. Anyways, so it's just a demo. By the way, this is not the finished product, so we can't really uh, we can't really judge it that much. You know, just have to give it the benefit of no, no, no. We can't be harsh on it. But let's see, let's go. Right, nice. The pass got to the player. I think Konami should also steal from FIFA. Various passing combos. I think FIFA does that really well. Like, the different types of passing triggered by different buttons. And in PES, most passes are usually basic. With FIFA, you can do a hard pass or a weighted pass. You can do uh, a more accurate pass. You can do um, different versions of the pass on FIFA. And I think Konami can really uh, need to work on that. And yeah, add more variation to the game. Uh, yeah, the play collision is too not. Look at the collision, guys. That's not good. They should do something about it, really. Yeah. The collision, they should do something about it. That's what I think. They should work on it. Let's go, let's go. Minute 63 and we're still going. So let's just see what the game is about, guys. Because I don't know. I am I'm quite critical. The collision, again, man. That's not good. That's really not good. That's a foul. Ref, do something. The catch up in this game seems crazy as well i saw that in the previous video look at that look at that man i think there's no referee is there even a referee right now in this in this version of the game i don't think so because all the collisions he hasn't blown the whistle at all he hasn't awarded any free kicks he has done nothing hey 
Yo, the deep. Whoa. All right. So this time they failed to catch up. <laughs> All right, nice celebration. I like it. Yo, where are these guys going? Rush forward. The match is not over. It's not over. The match is not over. <laughs> like, uh, I, I'm head out. No goals for me, so I'm just leaving. Oh, you can actually go on red because precision is on red. So I think they've sorted red out because I don't see precision's team any aggressive because it seems they've sorted red attack out because. Like, previously, the, his players should have been very extremely aggressive, but they don't look that way. It just looks like, I don't know, man, but this is just what I think. They don't look very aggressive. And the other reason why I think this is not a mobile game, look at how you can configure controls, go on red, etc. I think, no, it's definitely not a mobile game. You have more freedom for it to be a mobile game. I just don't think so. Flag. Um, all right, the logo, Konami logo is there. Yep. Back in the day when you saw that logo, you knew your day was going to be made. Now when you see the logo, you're just like, man, I hate this company. I really hate it. You know, it's 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 really bad it, and it's sad. All right, Unreal Engine, new football game. So that's guy, that guy is the name of the, the game. <laughs> So it's past 2022 light. Demo, by the way. Or new football game. Online performance test. That's a very long name, Konami. Just say PES 2022 online performance test. All right, so guys, I think that's the end of the video, really. Uh, the gameplay looks okay, like I said. So we're going to list the things again. I'm liking the pacing. I'm liking the pass accuracy. I'm liking the goalkeepers. I'm liking... The animations as well, they're really nice. Um, and the fact that red attack doesn't seem very OP. Five positives. Dislikes. The ball rebounds are bad right now. It's still an issue. Uh, yeah, ball rebounds are still an issue. Refereeing is terrible again. Um, what else? What else? The, the uh the menus are disgusting basically the menus are dis oh and the defend the player reaction as well is too not top notch you saw when precision when he's Ling lindelof just ignore the ball that was like a centimeter away from him so yeah so five positives and four negatives i think it's an okay game in my opinion and i've been the most critical about the game but i think it's an okay game basically so guys, thank you so much, and I think this is the return, the comeback, because Konami chased me away from the game, and now we're back. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all. I'm very happy that I'm back. Hopefully, Konami is going to give us more content, and cheers, guys. Take great care.